Hey, I'm Jonah, welcome to the channel. Today, we are going to learn one powerful skill that will transform your playing and make it sound like 342% better. Totally accurate and scientific number, I assure you. It will let you turn normally boring notes like this six draw into a note that has a lot more pizzazz. That's what we're gonna learn today and we will get to it in a second, coming up. Have you checked out my free harmonica cheat sheet yet? It's a really useful tool for scale practice and you can check it out for free. The link is down below in the video description. Okay, vibrato, what is it? Well, the textbook definition is a rapid, slight variation in pitch in singing or playing some musical instruments producing a stronger or richer tone. The part I really want to focus on here is pitch because a lot of harmonica players will use our, you know, dominant hands to create a hand wah effect. And you might think that that's similar to vibrato, but remember that is only changing the uh, changing the timbre or the tone of the instrument a little bit, but it's mostly changing the volume. Right? So we are cutting off the airflow, the volume lessens, and that's the effect that we get. But vibrato is something inherently different. It's changing the pitch. Now, think for a second, what else changes the pitch? It's bending, right? Okay, so bends change pitch and vibrato changes pitch. So with that in mind, we're trying to subtly change the pitch of a note, kind of like bending, and like everything else that's complicated about harmonica, it's happening internally, which means it's not so easy of something I can really show you because what can I really show you about harmonica playing? Everything's happening in here. And in this case, instead of your mouth or your tongue being the drivers of this, it's going to be your throat. Let's not waste time. I will tell you how to do this. And if this video helps you, would you do me a favor and hit the like button and give me a hand in growing my channel? I'd appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right. Now try this with me. We're gonna say ba, okay? Ba. Ba, like a sheep. Ba, ba. Okay. Now we're gonna say ba, and then we're gonna repeat the ah part of ba, like ba ah, ba ah, in one breath. Ba ah, ba ah. So okay. So that's step two. Step three. We are going to repeat that ah sound. Okay. Ba ah ah ah. Ba ah ah ah. Now, see if you can do it a little bit longer. Ba, ah, 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 ba, ah, 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 ah. That is the thing that you're doing to create vibrato. So you should pause the video right now and practice that. Ba, ah, 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 ah. All right, you should grab your harp. I'm playing a G harp today, by the way, and I'm gonna play six blow here. Now I'm going to add that same technique, that ba, ah, 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 to my playing like underneath the harmonica sound. Now I'm going kind of fast because it really does speed up. Kind of like that. Okay, you should try this on your own. Again, the note doesn't matter. Just do it on a blow note for now. If you tried this, I hope you had some success. However, remember that I said vibrato is a change in pitch, okay? You can't bend on six blow or any other note. You can only do that on a draw, right? So if you think about it, we really can't change our pitch. It does kind of create a noticeable fluctuation in our sound, but we're not actually changing our pitch. That means we're gonna need to make this action on an inhale, and this is where things get kind of tricky. It's super weird and hard to do this but it sounds like this. Okay, so remember we're doing ba ah, 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 ah on an inhale. <laughs> That's what we're attempting to do. So this will take you a while to get. I mean, when else do you articulate a uh, sound on an inhale? It's very weird. <gasps> I just remember there was one summer 
that I was working on my harmonica skills and it was like dead as summer. I'm outside sitting on a hammock. I got two puppies running underneath me and I'm just there for hours after watching an Adam Gussow video just going, oh, 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 oh. Well, and, and it was hard to get it to repeat in the way that it should be. And it took a couple months to really get that sound to be like natural and controlled and then even longer to make it a normal part of my harmonica tone. So if you do this, trust in the process and just keep going, you'll get it. In your practice sessions, just set aside, you know, a couple minutes a day, just like you would do if you're working on your bends, and maybe you still are, to get this skill down. So what I would do is I would go through the exact thing that we did today. Get your blow vibrato to work correctly. And then practice reversing the pattern, but first do it without the harmonica. Okay, and then add your harmonica in. Over a couple sessions, you should be able to have some success, but it may be a while until the technique is really strong and reliable. And it's something that you need to actually use once you learn how to do it. Like so many players, they will like learn how to play and they'll just ignore using their dominant hand to do hand effects, right? Like we all know that it's something that we can do, but it's a very common beginner mistake to just not use that. And it's the same thing with vibrato. You want it to really improve your tone and make your playing sound a lot more nuanced and interesting and textured. And the only way to do it is to start doing it like all the time. So start adding it to any held draw notes that you play. <laughs> You can just use it all the time and it will really just spice up your playing. One thing that you may want to focus on is being able to control the speed of your vibrato. It's really not that easy, but it is something that you can do because you really want the pulse of your vibrato to match the tempo of the music. If you're playing a really fast song, you don't want a really slow vibrato and vice versa. Now this is really hard to do. You can use a metronome and just set it up with a tempo, try to match your vibrato to that tempo and then slow it down. If you do this, you can take a very fast vibrato and slow it down, which is way harder in my experience than speeding it up. Good luck practicing this. If you wanna learn some riffs next, why don't you watch this video up here and jam out with me. Check out my scale cheat sheet again, free, link in the description, and I will see you next time. See you later.